Spolidia regravalis, known as the Hawaiian beet webworm moth, is a member of the Crambidae, or grass moths. This species is found throughout the world, including many parts of the United States of America, but is most common in tropical and subtropical environments, and feeds on many leafy vegetable crops, most infamous of which being Beta vulgaris, or the beets. The adults are readily distinguished by their flat wing resting position, brown white body coloration, white band along both wings, and two smaller markings along the edges of each wing, hence the name Recurvalis, as the bands appear to curve back around. The larvae are typically green and have many sparsely oriented cares and a brown head capsule. Hawaiian beet webworm populations consume horse purslane, Taranthema portulicastrum, very intensely. This species is considered an extremely noxious exotic African competition species with crops such as pulses, tomato, potato, mustard, corn, pigeon pea, soybean, onion, cotton, sugarcane, pearl millet, sorghum, and many others, a substantial fraction of which are also hosts for the moth. Although not necessarily a proper biocontrol agent, the Hawaiian beet webworm may have a negative effect on this invasive species and might be useful in integrated pest plant management. Hawaiian beet webworm eggs are deposited in a cluster-like row, usually found underneath the leaves or near succulent plants on dry twigs or clods of soil. The egg stage lasts about three to five days in optimal conditions. Optimal growth temperature for the larval form is 30 degrees Celsius, under which development to pupa will take 17 to 20 days. The beet webworm larvae often weave webs together to form a tunnel from a sheltered pathway to their food source, and this is an additional symptom of their presence, along with a tendency to skeletonize leaves. The larvae will drop to the soil and construct a silk-lined vertical cell below the soil surface. Sometimes, larvae enter a pre-pupal diapause in this cell before actually pupating, induced if light is restricted to less than 13 hours per day. Under normal conditions, the pupal stage lasts 7 to 14 days. The pupa is between 2.5 to 5 centimeters long, generally speaking, and begin yellow in coloration but brown as they age. The posterior end has eight small spines, but are very difficult to see without assistance. Like is the case for many other moths, the Hawaiian beet webber moth is large enough to make ingress into shelter difficult if properly screened and closed in such a way that small insects cannot cross through. In open spaces, however, the moth has freer range and its movement becomes harder to track and control. Management strategies should start with preventative measures, including the assessment of seasonal activity and implementation of management techniques well before their appearance in the general area. Some of this information may be acquired by university or other agricultural institutions for a specific place. However, tracking one's own local data is often superior when done properly. Biocontrol agents for many moths and butterflies include microbial organisms that infect on contact or parasitic wasps that seek and parasitize larvae. Controls tend to focus on the damaging form, the larva, but besides applying select chemistries and releasing biocontrol agents strategically, light and pheromone traps may be an option to cull incoming adults as a form of reproductive disruption. There are some cases where traps have had the negative attribute of attracting greater populations of pests than normally would be tracked, but it is impossible to perfectly articulate how disadvantageous they are in every given context. So tracking and recording their incidences of presence can be useful in gauging the attractiveness of traps.